And there's nails and a chalkboard on the bottom of it? <laughs> I should pass on this thing just out of general principle. <laughs> I came to the pawn shop today, tried to sell my antique Pepsi cooler. Wife and I are moving to Virginia. We're having a clearance sale at our house, and this is one of the items we wanted to sell. It's got great eye appeal, and I think someone's going to like it. So what do you got here? What I have here is an antique Pepsi Cola cooler. OK. That I purchased 15 years ago from a flea market in Dayton. OK. Do you mind me asking what you paid for it sure. when you got it? Um, 15 years ago, I paid $7.50. All right, do you know anything about it? 1939 and 1950 is supposedly when they made this, before refrigeration, I guess. No, they've had a refrigeration up long before that. Most people don't realize that rural America did not have a lot of electricity. So little corner stores, gas stations, these were a great thing to have. Sell Pepsi at. Mm -hmm. Back in the 1930s, Coke and Pepsi came in six ounce bottles and cost just a nickel. Then Pepsi introduced a 12 ounce bottle with the slogan, double size, and the Cola Wars had begun. Was it in this shape when you got it? I played softball for many years, and a lot of times I would take it to softball games, and it held a lot of things other than Pepsi. Because <laughs> <laughs> this side over here looks like a backstop at one of those softball games. <laughs> you can tell it was originally blue because they did a terrible job painting it. They didn't even take the blue paint off when they painted it. This thing is pretty beat up, but I've learned with old Coke and Pepsi stuff, it really doesn't matter. People will buy it in just about any condition. I just have to get it at the right price. Hey, do you want to pawn it or sell it? I'd like to sell it. How much did you want for it? Um, I know I paid $7.50 for it. As I mentioned, all the eye appeal. Hold on, hold on. What, just because you got screwed doesn't mean I get screwed. <laughs> that, that's not the way it works. I but. understand that. But I don't think something like this, I don't think you really have a hard time selling. But I mean, we're we're talking two, three thousand dollars to do a full-blown restoration on it which will probably make it worth about three grand. I'd like to offer you around 200 bucks for it. I can't take that. It needs a lot of work, man. About five. I mean, if we, if we bought it for 350, we could probably sell it for five without having to restore it. Yeah, it would be someone else's project, not mine. You do four? I'm going to stick at 350, Chief. Boy. Mm. Well, I don't know. Hate to part with. My wife's probably going to kill me, too. OK, I'll do it, 350. All right, All right let's go do some paperwork. I just can't too. go home. <laughs> just don't wheel it over there. Get some oil on it first. <laughs> I settled for 350 because my wife told me it's time for it to move, but I think I should have got a little more.